Well, hi everybody. Today I'm gonna to show you how I built this walnut and ash pencil cup. It's got the two layers of wood sandwiched together. The outer layer of walnut has been carved away to reveal the ash underneath. And it's a really nice contrasting effect. I was very happy with the way it came out. So if you'd like to see how I did it, stick around and I'll show you how. All right, okay, I better back up a little bit here. The wood I'm using here was processed from a previous project. The walnut slab was from a local supplier. The ash was processed from logs that I cut from a deadfall on our property. All right, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, I was prepping all the pieces to be 18 and a half inches long, four inches wide, and then I was gonna resaw them to a rough size of a quarter of an inch thick. I'm new to working with walnut, and I really like the smell of it when it's cut. This three quarter inch wide bandsaw blade really made some nice cuts. All strips were trimmed to four inches on the table saw. Now it was time to plane each layer down to its final thickness of two tenths of an inch. Then I made one last thin strip of ash, an eighth of an inch thick, that was going to serve as the bottoms to my boxes. Then it was time to glue the two layers together. You'll probably notice that I have a few extra pieces here. The reason for that is that the walnut had a really beautiful knot in it, but the thickness planer seemed to disagree and proceeded to rip them out. So I had to make a few little patch pieces. Well, I thought I'd try something a little different on this project. I made a giant sandwich and put weights on top of it instead of using clamps. And it actually worked pretty good. So while the glue was drying, I had time to go back in and work on the computer. Well, if you've ever had a chance to use a space mouse, you probably know they're quite addictive. The cat file on this project is actually pretty simple, and the only 3D carving is where you see these wavy blue curves. Well, as you probably guessed, I'm cutting all four sides of this box at the same time. The machine operations for the back side include 45 degree miters, the dados for the bottom of the box, and a chamfer for inside of the top edge. Well, I use those roller coaster B splines to guide a half inch round router bit through multiple depth cuts on the front side. Because this is a two sided project, I'm zeroing off the table and then I'm going to use a four tenths of an inch work offset. The first operation was to make the holes for the registration pins in the spoil board. I won't need those for the first side. In addition to cutting these dados, I also used the 8th inch router bit to bore the holes for the dowels. This is actually a metric V bit, but 45 degrees is 45 degrees. I moved my camera a lot in this project. This is the first time I've ever cut miters with my CNC router and they came out great. Time to flip it over. My newest favorite tool, links in the description. The dowel holes that I bored on the back side are now being used to register the front side. These pockets do two things. They create a surface that's at the right thickness for the pattern cuts. They also create the shapes that frame each side of the box.
although pretty subtle, this 8th inch radius is just a nice finishing touch. Now for the fun part. It takes very few passes for this half inch round router bit to create the pattern. It took out a lot of wood pretty fast. filing operation only had to make cross cuts. The other sides were already taken care of by the miters. Wood green is so beautiful. It never ceases to amaze me. Just checking my dados. Some quick cuts on the bandsaw, check my miters, and I'm off to the sander. pieces of gaff tape, some glue, and some rubber bands, and we're all set to go. No clamps in this project. Then there was a little bit of power sanding and a lot of hand sanding. Thanks again, Tony. The oil really brings out the color. Gotta love it. Well, I had a lot of fun making these boxes. I learned quite a bit. I tried some techniques that I had never tried before, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you did, hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you get a chance, check out some of my older videos over there. And if you really like them, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with some friends. So, as always, take care, and we'll see you next time.